And so we get another glance at what's happening at Mount Olympus as we get more ideas on what AMD is planning to innovate on in the future as we get our very first hints on what Fred Ripper 5000 will be like. And man is tech news boring nowadays. There's like nothing happening. This is the most interesting thing that's happening right now in tech. Mm. But anyway, on today's episode, I'm talking about stuff that you and I can never afford unless we win the lottery or start an OnlyFans. Let's talk about Ryzen Threadripper 5000 series because AMD and Star Wars have been rather quiet about it. Even though third generation Threadripper was a huge success for AMD and managed to swiftly dethrone Intel from the HEDT throne, we really haven't heard anything about its successor. And with Ryzen 5000 being as powerful as it is, and with Intel having no real response lined up, we're just here waiting for Intel to once again get completely obliterated by AMD, just so we have some entertainment in our boring lives. But AMD is being a bit of a tease and it's not really willing to give us a lot of information, though we do know some things. And for some, it may be a bit of a disappointment because these CPUs are apparently not meant to launch until around August or maybe even later in the year. Now, it's very hard to tell if that was AMD's original plan or if because of the chip shortage, they had to push back the release because while well, they just simply didn't have enough silicon to turn into functional chips, you can just put into your PC. So let's just hope that the chip shortage will at least somewhat calm down by the time August comes around. But then again, we've collectively as society said similar things about pandemic when it first started. So let's let's not jinx it, okay? However, thankfully, if you do already have a third generation Threadripper CPU, you most likely will need to get a new motherboard because these brand new CPUs are supposedly compatible with old TRX 40 motherboards, so that's nice. Though there will probably be a brand new chipset and collection of motherboards to go along with these CPUs because, well, Gigabyte and ASUS and all those lads need to make money somehow. So let me know if you're excited for Threadripper 5000. I'm, as always, excited just to see the numbers on a screen because, let's be honest, by the time August comes around, my channel still won't be big enough to uh, warrant AMD sending any review samples because, why well, should life be fair? But anyway, if you want to support a channel either way, maybe check out my Patreon because $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel and it allows me to make way better videos and videos on way more interesting topics. And also a lot of my patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Eric B, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Max Zona. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are awesome and you really helped the channel out a lot. Down in the video description below, you'll also find our Amazon Associates links where you can buy yourself a TRX 40 motherboard, plus our old custom Sophia link, our Discord server, and social media. It's all down there, so go ahead and check it out. But anyway, that's what it's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.